Moving on now, and according to data collected by Purdue University, 35 grain entrapment cases occurred in 2020. That's down 8% from 2019, but what if a farmer didn't have to go into the grain bin at all? Well, thanks to new technology, that reality might be closer than you think. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh has the story. Grain bins may look safe from the outside, but they can pose a deadly risk to those working inside them. In 2019, the Daily Yonder reported grain entrapments in the U.S. rose by 27 percent, with deaths rising by 53 percent that same year. Realizing that lives are at risk, two young Nebraskans formed a partnership which will help keep humans out of grain bins altogether. So actually we were approached by our farmer friend who, uh, who saw us, you know, kind of tinkering around with robots and asked us one day, he said, you know, I never want to climb into a grain bin again, and I have some kids that I know that one day might have to climb into a grain bin. I never want them to have to go through that. So I want you guys to build me a robot so that no one ever has to go through that process ever again. The Grain Weevil robot is a grain bin safety and management robot. It scurries across the top of the grain using auger-based propulsion, and this allows us to manipulate the grain so we can break up clumps and bridges, level the bin, um, and help with the e efficient extraction of the grain when you're taking it out. The two recent engineering graduates designed the robot to be small and streamlined, allowing it to move freely about the bin. Our small 18 inch by 20 inch robot allows us to be mobile inside of the bin. Um, unlike other solutions, which are big, heavy, attached to every bin, um, expensive products, we're able to move from bin to bin. We're able to do more complex tasks, um, like breaking up specific clumps or fixing small areas inside of a bin. So we started kind of with a lot of off-the-shelf uh, devices. So we, we hit the ground running with that, and then slowly I've been transitioning over to our own proprietary software. So it's been about a, a year-long process to get that all shifted over. So right now we're able to do temperature as well as ambient humidity. Um, we're working towards some more grain quality measurements, um, but those are more complex, and so we'll be working through those this summer. Um, so right now we have a remote control that we just drive manually, but in the future we hope to have it be completely autonomous. The farmer only has to drop the, the robot into the bin and then just walk away and let it run. Other future changes for the robot include more data sampling options, as well as cameras so farmers can see what's happening inside their bins. Both Zane and Ben see the technological changes happening in the industry and are optimistic about the grain weevil's future. We're pushing as fast as we can. We're really passionate to get this thing out there as quickly as possible to help the farmers. So in the future, hopefully in the next 10 years, we see every farm as having some sort of grain bin management system on it, and we hope to be that system. So we hope that the grain, bin, the grain weevil is on grain bins all across the United States and hopefully eventually internationally. I think that grain bins and farming in general is becoming more tech advanced, um, and I think there's going to be a lot of a big push on the safety um, as well as the management side because we, we can improve the storage process that we currently have. Um, and I think that there's going to be tools that will help and aid the farmer in that process. And I think that we have something that can definitely help that process. And what we always say is farmers know a lot about what's going on inside of their bin. They have sensors, they have the ability to learn, I have a hot spot, I have something going on, but now we're creating something that can safely do something about those problems. The grain weevil is currently going into testing at five different farms across the nation. Zane and Ben hope these tests will allow them to fine tune the robot to work faster and more efficiently in the future. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh.